So to answer the question, what is the best way to fertilize, we have to really address two things. One is what's in the fertilizer, and two, uh, what is it that we're planning to fertilize? So starting with what's in the fertilizer, it's important to note that any bag of fertilizer we look at has three numbers on it. And those three numbers represent nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in that order. It's always in that order, those three. Nitrogen is responsible mainly for the greening and the overall shoot growth of the plant, whether that's turf or ornamental plants. Phosphorus is responsible for establishment of the plants, for, you know, whether that be new seed or new sod. Um, in landscape ornamentals, it's also responsible for blooming. Um, and then potassium is important for the overall cell strength of the plant. So turf grass fertilizers, as a general rule, are in a rough ratio of about a three to one to two. So meaning that there's about three times as much nitrogen as there is phosphorus, and about two times as much uh, potassium as phosphorus. Now, it's always important to start with a soil test to really know what your turf grasses needs, but again, this would be a very common ratio, um, and it's really important to note that it's about the ratio and not necessarily the actual numbers on the bag. So, example, you might see a fertilizer that's a 24, 12, you might see one that's a 24, 5, 11, but roughly speaking those are about in that 3, 1, 2 ratio, a very common fertilizer per turf. If we were starting a new lawn though, or starting sod, um, again that phosphorus, that middle number becomes really important. Those seedlings can't reach the available phosphorus in the soil. So that's where you might see something like a 6, 2010, and again, maybe it's more of a 6, 2020. It's not so much about the exact numbers, but just recognizing that when you see this center number being very high in comparison to the other two, that is most likely meant for starting a new lawn or new sod. Landscape ornamentals, on the other hand, typically are more balanced, so their ratio would be oftentimes a one to one to one, equal parts nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So again, very common to see products like a triple 15, a triple nine. And so while those numbers might be slightly different, the ratio is the same. That fertilizer contains equal parts of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And so that's where, and we'll talk in more detail later, but it gets important. To, we've got to know not just what these numbers are, but what's the makeup of each of those, what type of nitrogen, for example, or do these contain other things like iron or manganese or other nutrients in addition to these three that the plants might need. 